friends good morning i am happy to be a virtual participant in this conference on pathways to clean cooking and to share my thoughts as part of the thematic panel on bi modern biomass personally i am committed to supporting development and promotion of clean cooking energy systems based on modern biomass fuels as part of a broader sustainability vision for my presentation today i have used an intuitive framework of stories from the field to examine how fuel transitions occurred in the past and are currently occurring in indian households i hope some of the insights from these stories are relevant for designing pathways to clean cooking with a 30 year horizon which is what this conference aims to do i grew up in small towns of india kitchens in my household my childhood memory had wood cattle dung cakes coal and kerosene as fuels however wood was the main fuel my parents kitchen moved to lpg when we moved to a district town that was in 1960 almost 60 years ago kerosene stove was a backup device and wood based devices were used for water heating till they closed their kitchen in mid 80s 40 years ago our kitchen was set up using kerosene and coal stove in those days getting an lpg cylinder took couple of years and getting a refill took a few weeks after we got an lpg connection kerosene stove continued to be part of our kitchen till we got a second cylinder a backup provision Currently I run kitchens in two places using piped natural gas LPG and electricity as cooking fuels and solar energy for water heating. I also find that most poor urban households tend to shift away from biomass at the earliest opportunity. These are stories of urban cooking energy transitions during last 60 years. What about the rural areas where majority of Indian households are during last 30 years visits to kitchens across rural india and my engagement with clean cooking energy systems have taught me time and again that the choice of a cooking energy system in a rural kitchen is a complex transition various programs on improved biomass fuels and stoves have not made significant inroads in their usage and the households continue to use traditional biomass stoves this was reconfirmed during my recent visit to poor tribal villages in the eastern part of india and fairly well off villages in the western part while the lpg program of the central government has made impressive inroads in providing lpg connections lpg usage is minimal for reasons of cultural practices cost and availability all the households that i came across continue to use biomass fuels in traditional forms what do these and similar stories tell us about modern biomass and designing clean cooking pathways security of cooking fuel is of highest priority for a household use of multiple fuels is a strategy for ensuring fuel security cooking energy transitions away from biomass seem linked to urbanization and are often accompanied by changes in the economic status of women in a household In rural and agricultural based economies the transition is rooted in more complex socio cultural and economic context and also to easily easy availability of biomass fuels so biomass fuels will continue to be used along with other fuels for longer periods in rural areas compared to urban areas human is a key decision maker in making the cooking energy transitions the current supply oriented unidirectional and techno managerial approach of providing lpg connections seems to take away the possibilities of working on multiple options in the interest of energy security at household and national level 
in the indian context i hope to strengthen the following create a level playing ground for modern biomass fuels and stores in terms of r&d and policy support support awareness campaigns on the role of clean cooking energy systems in improving health and benefiting national air quality and global climate establish comprehensive area based programs to promote pollution free kitchens accompany these programs through long term studies for concurrent field level monitoring of the interventions for mid course corrections in the field and also to understand the factors influencing the cooking energy transition accurately thank you for this opportunity and happy to answer questions